Hello fellow Star Wars fans, this is JAR369. Welcome back for another figure review. Today I'll be taking a look at the Star Wars The Black Series Obi-Wan Kenobi or Ben Kenobi for, for your Star Wars fans. Made by Hasbro. Now, take a look at the package here. You know, it's just the usual Star Wars The Black Series packaging. And you can see the window that exposes the figure and the accessories. You get the nice image of Alan Guinness as Obi-Wan Kenobi. And you get his name, Warning Chicken Hazard, Hasbro logo, and his recommend for ages 4 plus. So right here you can see he is number 32. And on the back here you get another image of Obi-Wan Kenobi. And you can see the um a bio about the character. If you want to read it, pause the video. And so that's about it. Now let's release Obi Obi Wan Ben Kenobi out of the package. And here we got Obi Wan Ben Kenobi out of the package. Now you can now you see him in the now. So I did it with the uh, scaring the uh, Tuscan Raiders away pose, like like that. It's like yeah, something like that. Yeah. Now let's take off his rope here for the review. Come on. Come on. There we go. Now, take a look at the figure here. Let's look at the head sculpt here. Now, the head sculpt wise, I gotta say, the likeness to Alan Guinness, it's a decent job capturing his likeness. I kind of see him very well. I mean, it looks so I mean, it's so obvious that this is actually Alan Guinness on him. Now, take a look at the head sculpt, the hair mold. I say they did a good job with the hair and everything, capturing his hair likeness and the beard, too. I mean, you can see some shades of black hair, and some shades of brown, yellowish color here. Uh, now, take a look at the outfit here. You can see the robe on him, the little fanny pack here. And there's nothing much to it. And there's like a little hook for the, um, the lightsaber. And you get a little buckle there. And you can see he is wearing this little skirt rope thing here. And underneath the, the rope you can see he is wearing the brown shirt here. You know what's really weird about my figure is it has like this weird coloring on this. On the arms. Both of the arms. I have no idea why. Maybe I'll probably display him with the. The coat. He got two hands holding on to the lightsabers. And underneath the skirt thing here. You can see he is wearing brown pants underneath it. You get the little texture here. And look at that. He is wearing. He's still wearing the boots during the event. After the events of episode 3. Uh, there's nothing much on here. On the ankles, everything. And on the bottom, there's some legal crap and pickles in the bottom of the feet as well. So for the scope wise, I say they did a good job. Paint wise, I say uh, not good with the arms as well. But still, a decent looking figure. Now for articulation, just the usual Star Wars The Black Series articulation. You get head rotation. And it has like this little ball joint here. And it could go down this high or hinge up this high arms go fully rotate go in and out bend at the elbows rotate at the elbows the wrist can rotate and does have the little hinge i wish i wish this arm could go go hinge down so i could display him like the lightsaber like down right here like like he met darth vader face to face and there's some um, Waist rotation is hit on the ball joint. And legs can go forward and back, in and out. Upper leg rotation. Bend at two points at the knee. And his ankle can go pivot forward, back, and ankle pivot side to side. So that's about it for articulation. I mean, quite a boastability for the figure. But to be honest, I'm going to display him with a standard pose. I mean, he never 
does anything besides just fighting with swinging his lightsaber to Vader. Now, for accessory wise, I'm not sure this counts as an accessory, but he does come with the soft fabric robe here, which does fit on him very easily. Come on. Come on. Do, do, do. There we go. I mean, in the, you know what's really what's strange about this robe is because this the hoodie here is all stitched up. I mean, I know I can see what the problem was with the um the Princess Leia figure, like where the the hood is it's like too big and we just stitched up. But this is also the problem. They forgot to stitch the um the back one as well, so it'd be more like that for example. I mean it could make more sense if they just stitch the back as well. And then they just go and like yeah, that's it. And also other accessory, he does came with his lightsaber. I mean oh I mean I I mean, it's just a usual lightsaber. I cannot explain about this. Well, it does has the hilt that you rem remove on the lightsaber, and also it does have the uh, the little hook on here. When since when Hasbro made the younger version of of Obi Wan Kenobi from the other wave of Black series, they have like the little peg here and then put it on in the hole there and just put it on there. But now Hasbro has finally decided to add the hook and then the little loopy loop thing on the figure. It does not fit somehow because it's... Come on. I don't want to break the hoop. Nah. Well, hey, I can display him with the, uh, the lightsaber open. Do, do, do. There we go. There we go. Now you have Obi Wan Kenobi ready to battle. And his hoodie keeps keeps going up. So overall, I gotta say, I say this is a really nice job looking figure. The scope wise, it did it good. The head scope looks good. Paint job is, eh, eh, I don't know about the arms or everything, but they did a great paint job at the costume though. But that mind, it's a it's a decent looking figure, not bad looking. And I did find this at Ross for about three ninety nine. Nine each. I mean, it's a not bad deal. I gotta say, it's a pretty decent looking deal. I mean, there's like multiple versions of Obi Wan Kenobi, which is the same figure. Like, there's one from SCC Exclusive, which was a um, first release before this the single card version came out. This one has like the um, the table of a hologram Princess Leia, while the while this release does not. And there's also the uh, Vintage Collection Obi-Wan Kenobi figure with the, um, with the Vintage card back. And again, still the same figure. But, I'm okay with this figure. I mean, it's the same figure as the others. I mean, Hasbro is keep re-releasing figures that we got in the past. Like, like, first of all, he, Hasbro re-released this as a single carded version after the if you don't get the uh, SEC exclusive version of Obi Wan with the table, and then later on with the vintage stylized 20th anniversary something thing for the Black Series figure. So that's about it. Make sure to tune in for new videos daily. Don't forget to turn on the bell icon to be notified of new videos after you subscribe. And of course, follow me on Instagram and Twitter. Both links will be in the description down below. And I forgot I. Need to rate this figure, so my rate on this figure it will be eight out of ten. Yeah. So that's about it.
This is the Star Wars The Black Series Obi-Wan Ben Kenobi figure by Hasbro, and this is JR369. Goodbye.